One of the most powerful tools in any vector graphics application is the pen tool, and it's no exception for Autodesk Graphic. To demonstrate the pen tool, I'm going to start by tracing out a silhouette, and I have a photo copied on the clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it right in here in this graphic document. What I like to do is turn down the opacity of this layer so that I can really see what I'm doing with my layer on top. I'll also lock this layer with a command L, which will make sure that I don't move it around accidentally while I'm making my custom shape. So I'm just going to choose the pen tool and zoom in a bit on where I want to start. In this case, I'm going to start with his head. Now the pen tool basically is just plotting points and connecting paths either with curves or straight lines. So I'm just going to choose a place where I'm going to start and by a single click I'll create my first point. Now what's going to happen is the next point is going to start creating my shape or my path. And if I click you'll see that line now, that line segment. Before letting go I can start pulling to create a curve to match the curve of my subject, in this case this rooster. Right now you see that this point has a, a mirrored curve to it. As I move in and out it's proportional. To break the proportion of this so that I can move my next trajectory in a different direction you can use the option key. So just hold down the option key and now you see you can just break that handle. So I'm going to point it in the direction that I want my next point to be. And then click. Now I want this to be a sharp turn rather than a curve. So instead of dragging I'm just going to click once and let go. Then I'll plot my next point and continue this process all the way around my rooster. And to make it easier on myself I can turn off the fill over here in the appearance and effects panel just by unticking the fill. And so I still have my stroke that lets me know the boundaries of the shape that I'm making. So when I want a curved line I'm going to click and hold. And when I want to break that handle hold the option key point it in the direction that I want to go next and continue on my way. Now that I've gone all the way around this rooster, I'm going to turn my fill back on and make it black so I can see the silhouette. I'm also going to use the opacity again, kind of like it's an onion skin or like tracing paper to be able to see my picture behind this. And you see there's a couple of places that are sort of inside cutouts that I need to chop out of my path here. And we can do that with the combined path panel. So what I'm going to do is go back to my pen tool and create a shape on top of this for these little inside pieces I want to cut out. You can always uncheck the fill again so that you can see what you've made so far and see the reference image underneath. And there we are. Now holding shift I'm going to select my silhouette 
and I'll use the subtract feature and that chops it right out. So now you'll see I've got two feet there. There's a couple of little other places here. I'm going to tackle those really quickly. Now I've just hidden my reference photo and I've got my silhouette. This is really all I want out of my reference photo is just this solid silhouette. This works great for icons or logos or illustration purposes. Some other modifier keys that you might want to explore when using the pen tool are shift. By holding shift, you can plot a point, hold down shift and create a straight line. You can also hold down shift to snap your handles to 45 degree angles. While you're creating a path, you can use command to quickly switch to the path selection tool and manipulate things while you are still creating your shape. So I have this open path, but I'm able to move nodes around before completing my path, then I can go right along creating my path. At any point, I can hold down command and make an adjustment as I continue creating my shape. That's fantastic. I hope you guys check out the pen tool and lots more features available in Autodesk Graphic. Thanks for watching.